Welcome everybody to Developing a CV, and this particular resource is looking at developing strategies for writing a personal profile. Now learners have a lot of difficulties writing personal profiles, and they often feel like they're doing it in a formulaic way, and the profile often turns out to be very similar to what other people have written as well. So we want to avoid that, and we want learners to be proud of their profile, and we want their profile to reflect who they are. And we're going to do this in three ways. We're going to present some strategies. The first one is going to be about discussing the purpose of a personal profile, generating ideas, words, and phrases, and then writing sentences while remaining authentic to who the learner is. Number one, defining the purpose of a personal statement. Now, this is really important that the learners understand that they're not just trying to write something that fills a space on a CV, but they're trying to resonate with the employer and they're trying to impart a critical message to the employer about who they are as people. So we do this in a couple of ways. Number one, ask the learners to share their ideas about the purpose of a personal statement. So that is, you're just asking the class, you know, why is it in a CV? And what effects do you think that it has on the reader? And look at those two questions separately and write them up on the board and the learners will begin to discern that there are two different things going on. Secondly, ask the learners to think about what do you think the employers want to know about you? And this is part of positioning the learner uh, in the position of the employer so they can see their own CV through the eyes of the employer, which is an essential part to this process. And the answer is, employers want to know your aims, skills, and whether your personality will fit with their culture. Number two, generating content. Now, just sitting down and writing a personal profile is excruciating for many learners. So some success that we've had is providing them with some frames like this, uh, and they don't have to have all of these um, prompts on them. This one here, as you can see, says, what am I good at? What are my goals? And what type of person would my friends say that I am? But the idea of these is that the learners can just have a bit of freedom to think without having to construct sentences, and then to compare it with other learners as well. Here's another example you could do. What are my strengths? What sort of people do I like to work with? Make a list of your five favorite jobs. Again, we're trying to generate content that's coming out of the learner that we can then use to mold into our personal profile. Number three, selecting meaningful words. So now that we've generated content on those previous sheets, and there might be two, three, four of those sheets, you know, as many as you need to generate great content, have the learners begin to work through them and to select up to seven meaningful words or phrases that they really like. And if they like more than that, of course, that's fine. But the idea is they're beginning to pick out the ones that they particularly like. Then have learners break into pairs and describe to each other why they liked those particular phrases. And the idea is that the learners have a conversation about that and explain it. And that helps them to articulate their thoughts a little bit more and to generate more thoughts. Now, a useful way of getting the learners to refine and categorize the words that they've come up with and the phrases that they like is just to look at it how you see here in terms of putting them into categories, aims and goals, skills and personality, which you might call dispositions, but I find personality is easier. And the idea is, again, that this is judgment free. We're just trying to collect ideas from the learner. And sometimes I do this one on one with the learner as well. So I might just ask them, for example, what are your aims and goals? They might say things like, I want to fix things. I want to solve problems for people. I want to analyze and provide solutions. They might not use the word analyze, or they some will. I want to develop technical skills and learn more. So that I would put into the aims and goals. You know, what are your skills? And in the skills, sometimes I discriminate between hard and soft skills, hard skills like I can read plans, I can measure, cut, weld, bore, and so on. Soft skills, I'm able to work with a wide range of people. I'm adaptable, outcomes focused, motivated, and so on. Personality, uh, they might say things like, I have a great sense of humor, or I can work with anyone, which is highly valuable. Uh, I enjoy challenges, I'm persistent, determined, and I can get the job done. And as you can see, here we have the raw material for our personal profile. So what you saw on the previous page there were actually authentic comments from an engineering student that I worked with and uh, who actually used this particular profile that we're looking at and was successful in getting a job interview. Now, working together with me, we collaborated and began to put his ideas into more of a sentence structure. And what you can see here of sentences where we're beginning to frame up everything that he has written into sentences. 
So number one there, I'm seeking work in an environment where I can continue to develop my engineering skills by learning from others and working on a variety of problems. And in that sentence, we express everything he felt and we also show that he has a disposition towards learning and working with other people. In the second part there, I'm currently completing a level two engineering course and take every opportunity to learn something new. You know, so it's a great self-promotional sentence. I have completed all course projects to a high standard and expect to complete the qualification this year. So that's fantastic. He's being humble, but he's also presenting his skills in the best light. And finally, although I have limited work experience, I work hard and learn quickly. I'm dependable and reliable and won't let you down. Now in that last sentence, he really mitigates his lack of experience. So although he doesn't have much experience, He's really showing that he's willing to learn, he's going to work hard, and he's stating that up front. And those words and that phrase, although they might not be that aesthetic, they go a long way with employers. We put that all together, and then the learner can continue to work on it in their own time. So just to sum this up, you know, you begin with discussing the purpose of a personal profile. And then number two, generate ideas, words, and phrases and then number three is where we're actually beginning to put those into sentences while remaining authentic. And number four, rework, 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 and repeat. You know, getting the learners to continue to refine their personal profile and take pride in it. Mm -hmm.